Hi. Uh, so this is going to be a remote presentation from Puve from Red Hat. Uh, unfortunately, he couldn't come in because of visa issues. Um, so I hope the setup works fine and, and we can still go through this. Uh, so this is all about RAS and current status of RAS on ARM64 platforms. All right, Puve, all yours. You want to start? Okay, thank you, Arvind. Okay, uh, welcome to RAS session. Uh, I'm Fu Wei, I uh, assignee on, uh, in Linaro Lighting from Red Hat. Sorry for useless uh, remote technology to do the presentation due to the huge delay of my visa application. Uh, so I cannot uh, attend the connector personally. Um, in the following uh, 25 minutes, I will do a brief talk on REST development status on AR-64. REST is not a new topic. I ran several, uh, some similar sessions in previously in our Connect. Introduce the detail of all compo uh, components of uh, the REST architecture on AR-64, like uh, on VA, REST extension, SDEI, API, etc. So at the beginning, I will do a warm up uh, I will just breeze, breeze through this component a little bit, but for more detail, please check my previous, previous uh, the slide of in the previous connect. Secondly, I will focus on the prototype solution of uh, of firmware first uh, error handling. Use the use the ups, use the upstream standalone AM package. Then do some introdu introduction about the prototype of error recall mechanism in firmware for BRT. But at the, at the end, I will show my development plan on RAS. So here we go. Let's start with the brief uh, in introduction of RAS. The RAS arch architecture primarily uh, cared about the uh, error, error produced by produced by Howell. Um, it can detect and correct uh, error before causing failure. It, it's already used on ASD4, uh, on x86 for a long time, like uh, MCA, machine check uh, architecture. We will have some architecture uh, independent uh, we also have some architecture independent mechanism for uh, REST, uh, like AR in PC, uh, P, uh, PCIe expect uh, EDAC driver in Linux kernel, API in U UEFI. But for for REST on ASC4, for now, you um, you need several components. Um, in hardware level, we have REST extension. In in firmware, we need we need security partition manager, uh, se security part uh, secure partition Im uh, image image, which include uh, memory uh, mem uh, manager mode function and a API table to describe hardware support for error, re error report mechanism. On trust firmware, it includes uh, the first uh, first few boot imaging. BL31 is the B e is EL EL3 runtime. It in includes uh, exception handling, and then dispatcher and SDEI uh, dispatcher is compatible with compatible with other firmware like uh, EDK2. In bootloader, we also need some uh, we also need some uh, initialization in UEFI on ASD4. It works with on on trust firmware as BL33 in EL2. So in Linux, in kernel, Linux kernel level, we need API driver and uh, RAS event driver support to 
uh, hand over the hardware error data to the user space. In user space, we need REST, REST daemon to record all the error for analysis. So in this big picture, you can see all the components we need to uh, implement the whole REST functionality. So actually, REST is not it's not only a very important part of uh, enterprise system, but also a big project across all the, all the layer of computer uh, architecture. Uh, REST extension has been defined in ARM VA, VA.2. So it's the first hardware level uh, support for REST on ASD4. It, it's very important because all the error detection, uh, correction, and uh, most of the correction and record start from here. In, uh, in simple tent, uh, ESB can be used for load for uh, locating error and the rest and the rest extension register can provide error info and control the control the rest relevant interruption. But what is the benefit that uh, rest extension bring to us? Actually, uh, it's light MCA. It simplify and integrate the mechanism of reporting error and standardize the interface between hardware and firmware. Okay, now we have, uh, we have uh, went through the hardware and firmware control interface, but how to pass uh, error source info from, from firmware to OS or hypervisor? Uh, since we we use AP, uh, ACPI in ARC4 server. So we, so we use API. We have, we have made some uh, introduction in REST session of last, of previous uh, connect. So we, we just go through it very quickly. API provide a means to, uh, uh, for, the, for the platform to pass error info from uh, firmware to OS in the firmware first mode. It includes four, four table. Ha, uh, has the table is for runtime error handling, uh, which is is our uh, pri uh, priority prior, uh, primary development target. In has we have several sub table to pass the error source info. For ASC4, we we cared about uh, GHESV2 mostly. We will use this structure to pass error uh, source to to OS, which include locate which include the location of error block. The, the error block is formatted by the uh, firmware in the CPER uh, CPER uh, zipper uh, format. This is, this is described in UEFI spec. From the structure of uh, CPR, you may see that we, um, we, can, we can report all kinds of error we, could, we could, could think of. That is the advantage of API and uh, CPR. Uh, CPR. Uh, BRT is, is for uh, last crash. It's used for record error in the emergency line OS crash down. Uh, B, BRT provides a key info of the error block region. Uh, ER, ERST is for saving error, error log into persistent storage. And uh, e, error inject is for API testing. They are both, uh, they are both uh, operation uh, abstract for now we uh, have talked about uh, how well how well firmware support how about uh, the software on on ARM 64 we plan to use uh, firmware first mechanism but OS also can can decide which 
which system it went, it, it want to handle, which it just will just ignore. Software delegate uh, exception interface is an uh, interface between the firmware and OS for uh, re register, registering, uh, notifi notifying, and serving uh, system event using uh, SMC and HVC. But it's not just for RAS. This, uh, this uh, SDI technology, not just for RAS, is also used, can be used to uh, use in debugging. You can download the SDI uh, spec online. Um, now we have int uh, introduced all the necessary info of RAS on ARC4. So let's uh, put, put them together. Uh, talk about our prototype now. This is the project we are we are working on. A prototype, a prototype of firmware first uh, error handling. And after after that, I will introduce the to do the to do work uh, error record mechanism in firmware for BRT. So system boot from from uh, room the BR1, load the, uh, load the B, uh, BR2, and then BR2 will load the rest of the image in BR3 uh, at BR3123. Okay. So uh, BR1, BR31 initializes the SPN, SPN, which include NN dispatcher and uh, SDI dispatcher. The, then UEFI, uh, so called, actually it, it's uh, BR33. Um, will boot up and run, and in query and then uh, function in and function in security partition uh, partition manager for error source info by AP, API protocol. And then function and then functionality uh, will uh, return will return error source info back to UEFI. UEFI map mapping and uh, mark error record region as runtime service data as runtime service data region. They, then it will up, update uh, update and uh, the error source info in has the table. After UEFI uh, OS uh, OS start running, has the driver can uh, can scan the has the table and register error error handler by SDI uh, for, for now uh, in, in initialization is finished right now so uh, once uh, error occur once a uh, uh, uncorrect error occurred it the event will be route to uh, will route to the B ER3 then the SP SPN route the event to RAS error handling in in NN function, uh, AM foundation. NN foundation create the zipper block by the by the input from RAS extension. In this uh, in this procedure, the the, the code uh, may not may use the zipper lib which wrapped the error session data into uh, CPR blocked. Then, sec then send to the non-secure buffer for OS. After generating the CPR CPR blocked, and then this dispatcher notified SDI to call the call the uh, co corresponding OS registered uh, handler to let OS get the C get a CPR blocked by the infer from uh, error state address address block of has what the OS got this information when he put up. So process then uh, process the error, uh, try to recover and uh, report the error event by rest event. Finally, uh, rest rest daemon lock this error info to the recorder. We have several recorder for right now. We uh, actually in Fedora, the rest 
Red Demon have several different record way to record the error. So this is a whole summary of error handling data handling uh, handling data paths on uh, on city four. So um, this is the note for data paths. I uh, hope that they can help you to understand uh, the big picture. So you can uh, see this, uh, download this, and see the whole data path. For the S SPN framework, our engineer uh, made some good progress. They, they are working on uh, SPN and and. and MN uh, security partition framework. Those patch has been upstream. Uh, now they they uh, they just finish upstreaming the whole standalone NM package. L this uh, there are there are only few support package for uh, ARM package are waiting to be merged. So in in the next session, Thomas will will dip into the detail of SPM. Okay, uh, I I have finished the introduction of prototype uh, of the RAS uh, is uh, implementation on ARC4. Now let let me do some uh, introduction of my work um, with uh, with some on with some on engineer to implement the prototype. On engineer are working on the foundation model or fast model. Uh, I try to port their work onto QMU. Once I finish that, finish that uh, they start working. Uh, we start working on some uh, missing part of this prototype, uh, API protocol and C, uh, CPR Live. API protocol help UEFI to go enough uh, to get enough info from firmware. Uh, most uh, precisely from one. Uh, from one of the MM uh, function uh, dynamic table mod, uh, module to uh, overwrite the existing uh, has table or bar table in the firmware because the memory size uh, big memory size may difference right from from each product uh, in in another world hardware may may change. Uh, only only firmware from the vendor can deal with the change. This it's hard to use the fixed API table to describe all this kind of uh, dynamic hardware. So uh, in so in a boot time, UEFI will gather information from firmware to override some to override some address of error board for some errors for some error source. Um, in the, in this picture, you can see the uh, data path of this function. UEFI query the error source info by MN communication, uh, which has been finished by an engineer. Then MM AM, MM Foundation return the info by sending the data to non-secure buffer. Then UEFI uh, pass the the data to override has the table. For but we can do the same. We, we may can do the same thing. So uh, I ha I although we haven't do the we haven't done the prototype for but but that's the plan. We uh, for me I I may use the same technology to to update the BRT table. So I have finished some of this uh, function. All the code has been pushed to my repo in Linaro. And this, this is the basic framework of API protocol. So um, I just uh, mentioned some uh, kit API or function or, um, in, in this slide. Um, once you can download, once you, uh, how to say, you Download all my code. You can you can have a big picture of my code from this slide. Uh, Simple Lib is a library 
or some uh, helper function to be used in the standalone MM package for uh, wrapping session data into the arrow session data into uh, standard super super block uh, sent to sent to non non secure buffer for OS. The session data is the root error data uh, from hardware like REST extension. So um, for now, the interface are, are simple, just uh, super, super init and super write. This lib are still under development to extend uh, to extend the error data it can deal with. So let's just a uh, very simple uh, explanation and for the API here. So uh, once we finish the, once we finish the has the, has the table um, support, we may move to the BRT table uh, implementation on ARM64. This picture just show the idea of of uh, prototype. Once a fatal uh, a fatal error occurred, the the interrupter will route to ER3 SPN. If the you know at this time the interrupter still work, uh, okay, cross my finger. If that still work, um, then SPN route the event to REST error handler in secure. EL0, uh, which it will the AM foundation layer. AM foundation um, create the super block by the infer from REST extension and write into some pers persistent storage. If the, if the interrupter doesn't work, we have to count, uh, count on BMC to do the same operation. Then the system will will be uh, won't reboot. After the won't reboot, uh, when the UEFI try to update AP, API by API protocol, the MM Foundation will help to copy the error info from persistent storage to will help to copy all this information to persistent storage to the memory and then provide info to provide the info to UEFI by APEI protocol. UEFI can can update and create the BRT table. Once Linux reboot, it could get this info when it scanned scan the API table and print the error info in the boot log. For now, the, the BRT table works in this way. They, they, it, just, it just printed the, all the error log in the, in the boot log. So, um, so after, when we get into the user space, uh, we can use the, the message to get information uh, by this way, you know, uh, rest extend rest demon can do the same thing can pick it up uh, and then record it into the recorder so um, after the connect we will go to go on working on work I will go on working with uh, an engineer on rest here here are some uh, stator and planning So our engineer are nearly finished the stand stand and then uh, up, upstream. So I will I will start uh, I will start the QMU uh, support once I will start uh, up, upstream the QMU support once I finish the testing. Then I will uh, improve and in, in upstream API protocol and simple live code. Then upstream. Uh, I will, uh, you know, after the testing, I will up start uh, upstream then. Meanwhile, in the lacting, there are some engineer, there are some engineer working on uh, SBSA QMU. So I will, I will pull all my work on this platform too. 
So of course we we are looking forward to uh, working on a uh, real hardware which imp uh, implement on V8.2 or newer uh, architecture, uh, which include REST, REST extension. The next step may be implement the prototype of uh, BRT. So I guess uh, ties up. Uh, I just finished uh, all my all my slides. Uh, great thanks to all the people who helped me on this presentation, especially thanks to uh, Arvind uh, who who helped me to do this remote presentation. Thank you. So. Uh, that's my presentation. Hope they can help you understand what, what we are doing on REST uh, since time limit. If you have any question, you can draw me a light or uh, ask ask the Archen uh, after the after the session. I guess Archen in in the room. I guess uh, 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 he's so, uh, he's an engineer. Yeah, he's and not. in the next session, Thomas will provide uh, more detail about REST on uh, on CT4. Thank you very much. Uh, Uwe, if you can take some questions. Um, are you able to hear? Um, uh, maybe. Okay. Uh, since I just wake up, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi. I, I just had a really basic question. Um, in some of the graphs, uh, it seems like the calls are dotted lines or solid lines. Is there any significance to that, or is it just? Uh, uh, Uwe, uh, I don't know. Did you get that question? Uh, uh, the, the, the voice is a little soft. Can okay, you uh, uh, yeah, uh, say it again? Maybe I can repeat. So some of the block diagrams that you have shown uh, have dotted lines and some are bold. Is there any significance of those? Uh, sorry, again? Uh, what do these dotted lines stand for? I mean, uh, is there any special reason why you have put these dotted lines? In uh, sorry, what, what line? Uh, the dotted lines. Uh, which slide you are, you are talking? Uh, the one that you are showing, for example. Uh, I think I think okay. that the solid ones where there's a change of execution of the solid ones that we're looking at. Okay. Yes. Sorry, uh, again? Avent, uh, can you say that? Uh, again. No, uh, that's fine. Uh, David answered it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. It's, okay. It's not really. You no, know, it's very informative. Yeah, the, the voice quality from your side is uh, a, a, break, a little breaking up, so I cannot understand the question. Yeah. No problem. Thank you, Puwe. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, draw me a line if you have any question. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.